we present a perceptive locomotion controller that is based on nonlinear model predictive control. First, an elevation map of the environment is classified into steppable and non steppable areas. Afterward, we segment the steppable regions into planes and extract their boundaries. Before each MPC iteration, nominal footholds are derived from high level user commands. After projecting these nominal footholds onto the segmented planes, we extract a convex polygon around each projected foothold. These convex polygons form the foot placement constraints inside the MPC. Additionally, a signed distance field for collision avoidance and a smooth layer for torso alignment are provided. Based on these perceptive inputs and a system dynamics model, the nonlinear MPC optimizes all degrees of freedom of the robot. The proposed method discovers complex motions autonomously and generalizes across various gates and terrains that require precise foot placement and whole-body coordination. In a simple box climbing scenario, we can observe the importance of incorporating knee collisions in the formulation. We also show the difference between the proposed model and a single rigid body dynamics model in the bottom right. Robustness to errors in the perceptive information is essential. A late touchdown event occurs when the perceived terrain is higher than the actual terrain. In this case, the controller follows a regaining motion until contact is re-established. Early touchdown occurs if the perceived terrain is below the actual terrain. Here, the controller immediately replans based on the sensed contact location. With a single set of parameters, the method generalizes across a variety of gates and terrains. All motions emerge automatically from the optimization of the formulated costs and constraints. We demonstrate our controller in simulation on an obstacle course that consists of slopes, gaps, stepping stones, and other rough terrains. The visualization shows the planned trajectories for the feed and the convex foothold constraints used during optimization. The current elevation map and plane segmentation are shown on the bottom right side of the screen. Highly dynamic motions like a trotting gait with a flight phase are also feasible. We compare our method against a perceptive controller based on reinforcement learning in the same obstacle course. Both controllers can cross the unstructured terrain at the beginning and end of the obstacle course. However, the controller based on RL fails to use the perceptive information fully. It falls between the stepping stones when starting from the left and off the narrow passage when starting from the right. The rest of this video shows further demonstrations of the proposed controller in simulation and hardware.